Bet GSL. Vegas. 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 And into the bottom left, playing a brilliant game there on Antigua Shipyard, defeating his opponent. He's one win away from going to the next best of three. He is... TSA Port. And in the upper right, we've got our Terran player. Very scary from the previous seasons, but today he hasn't won a game yet. Can he come back? He is. Liquid Tizza. All right. So. I am. Talk to me, Artosis. I have gotten some confirmation from Twitter on people close to the Nest Award. MVP has nine consecutive seasons. So if he if he makes round of eight this season, he gets an SD award. And then of course if he falls out, he still has a chance to get back into Codas and he's MVP, so he probably will. Although Supernova could have done it first. Poor guy. And then MKT, DRG, and Lenoch all have done seven seasons in a row, apparently. And uh and then after that, we have Curious and Gumiho at six, it looks like. You know, you, you always, I always forget about Gumiho. I, like, I enjoy Kaz in his games, never. but I never, it never occurs to me how many GSL code S's he might have had consecutively, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know it was that many, but uh, Gumiho, God, I have so much love for Gumiho and the way he plays this game. He's one of my favorite to cast, actually. He's one of my favorite casts to watch. I can't wait to see what he does with his career. Every Terran does that every time now when things are leaving their base. They raise the depot yeah. right at the last second, so it has to turn around, then they lower it immediately. I'm going to sit there and attack the depot next time someone does that to me. <laughs> well, actually, with probe scouting times, it doesn't work. But if I was a Terran, yeah. I would attack the depot, dare them to take 15 damage before I go around. That's right. Yeah, take 15 damage. You never know, man. They might not repair that. And then later on, when you have siege tanks on their low ground right there, you're going to hit that depot. It might die just a little bit quicker. That's right. Every it might burn down a little bit faster, Artosis. It could be. <laughs> All right. So Holt not getting his gas yet. Tasha already getting his. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Pork getting gas. Just a little bit slower. It's fine. All right. So, tasteless. So, Artosis, talk to me. What do you think? Do you think Colt's going to close out 2-0? Or do you think he's going to win 2-1? You know, I, 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 I think back? it's going to be 2-1, and I don't know who's going to be the 2-1. Yeah, I have to agree. I, I feel like Tage is going to be able to take it and bring it to the last game, and who knows? I felt like Tage was doing better until he just didn't get the center right away. Yeah, and you know what? He almost broke through, but Holt just, he like flanked. And it's hard to have ranged. a wraparound push like that. Yeah. A boa push, if we will. Yeah. And then, you know, without the, the corners of it being, uh, you know, broken off, because mm. they could just uh, you know, make a concave around your corner of your big con bigger concave, you know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah. And take out the little sides of it and chip it apart. Range units just hate to be flanked. Yeah. Yeah. They do. You know, whoever gets the bigger flank on, oftentimes can take it they get so well we'll see how it goes this game both players mirroring pretty well oh Tasia a nice quick third command looks like he's gonna do some aliens for map presence for map control okay into that command center whereas Polt we're gonna see what he has planned it looks like it's gonna be the same build as last game though so far he's setting up just like he set up that last game all right, the uh, barracks is landing now. And I wonder what Tage is going to do here. Is he going to go mech or is he going to go bio? Because so far he's setting up pretty well for mech, if that's what he wants to do. I feel like we always know that Polt is not going to mech. Oh, yes. He Polt just does, does not, not do that. He's got his own, he's got, I would say his own way, own way, but he definitely has a way of playing TBT. Yeah, you know, he doesn't like mech. He actually has... Wolf asked him a long time ago. Uh, 
he's like, well, why, why don't you go mech? And uh, Polt was like, well, I, I know it's better, but uh, I prefer the, the Marine style. It's easier. You know, it fits his style as well. Yeah, so it exactly. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, I respect that. Yeah. It's, it's really hard and frustrating to go back. Well, it takes a lot of patience, and then there's so many different situations that can occur. You gotta know when to you gotta know when to push out. How to scout adequately. Alright, so. For uh Tasia here. Looks like he's gonna go right into some siege tanks. Maybe some banshees as well. Still no additional axes. Pull in the meantime. What is this tank doing? What? He's taking the launch tower bases. What do you think he's doing? <laughs> uh, Doesn't seem to be working all that well, though. Well, this is really, 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 really bad. And we just saw a siege tank die to Hellions. All right. And he only lost one Hellion. Got that one off my bucket list. Really well done by Tasia. And that's the only one he's going to be able to get. I don't even understand what's going on there with Pult's tank just being clicked out there. Yeah. That was weird. Ooh. All oh, right. Oh, Mecha Clock. Mecha Clock. Mm -hmm. Did you just say Mecha Clock? I did. Wow. Well, Tasis, this is not Mecha Clock. This is half past Mech. Oh, nice. <laughs> so Tasis, or if you're British, up. half Mech. Half. That's true. That's true. <laughs> well, um. This is interesting. I don't know, uh, you know, if, if you lose that first tank, is going to impact Pult too much, but there's definitely going to be an yeah. increase in the siege tank count here for uh, Tija. Yeah. Now, uh, Pult probably wants to take his third base right away. Yeah. Uh, in fact, let me take a look. He doesn't know for a fact it's mech yet. Uh, From what he's seen, I think that he could have a good guess that it's mech. Because he saw two tech labs, he saw a factory with a reactor. So, it, and the Rax wasn't on the Singa Tech Lab, so he, I, I feel like he should kind of be figuring out what's going on here. And right. in fact, he's making enough Marauders that, yeah, he knows. You don't make this many Marauders if you don't think they're going back. Alright, so uh, has he scanned yet? Alright, uh, now he scans. Wait, as I said, we didn't get a shot of it. There it is. So yeah. that's a dead giveaway right there, just the Hellions and those siege tanks. Yeah. The one Marine and the one Medivac do not make him think that it's going to be bad. <laughs> How many barracks could he possibly have now? Yeah. All right, now, right, what's going on right now is Pult is just keeping the pressure on Teja to not take his third yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's good. I mean, uh, Pult has to get ahead as far as economy goes. It's just when you're playing bio against mech, you need to keep slow them down as much as possible, keep them over there, deal damage if you can, Stop their harassment. These are all very, very important things to do. And Tasia does have a medevac, and he knows he has a medevac, so he has to be watching for that because if he starts losing SCBs to Hellions, that will give a gigantic lead to Tasia. I like the turret yeah. right here by uh, by Tasia. Seriously, absolutely no way a medevac is going to get in there and do any damage uh, with a drop. Tasia is. Getting me so happy right now. He's gone into overdrive right now. Yeah, he's he really wants to win because he is being very patient, getting his upgrades, and making a turret ring before taking a third base. Which is gasp exactly how you play mech against bio, because then they can't kill you. Yeah. In fact, they your can't deal damage to you. Late, late game mech, I mean your army is just stronger than, than their army is. As far as the amount of damage you can deal, you deal way more damage. So you just gotta build up and play defensive and then uh, that's up to Pult to try to outmaneuver you. Yeah. Alright, so, I mean, right now, Pult's trying to catch these. He might catch a few here and there. That's right, see. nice. Chasing him down there. Oh, man, nice. he should not have turned around there once he saw that one Marauder. I mean, that can cut himself just too good. Oh, man, a lot more Hellions being slowed down here. More Hellions now coming out. By the way, uh, the the depot placement that Pulp did in front of his third base, I think we already showed it one time. You guys might be looking at it and saying, what is this? It lets Marines and Marauders through, but not Hellions. Yep, Boxer it's came up with that. exactly what you want. Did you see the one that came up with it? Huh? Yep, yeah, he started doing that uh, season two or something like that. Sick. It's it's an amazingly good uh, formation that we don't see enough in Bio vs. Mac. Absolutely not enough. I don't think most people even know about it. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. Actually, I think a lot of people don't know. All right, he's going to come up here, go over the siege tank, backing up now. The Hellions taking a lot of splash damage. Point defense drone went out, so 
no huge issue here. He can't be broken because the Marauders are useless. And both players looking very solid. Notice that Holt is taking that fourth base right in the middle. It's like slightly slower than you would optimally want, but it's a little bit slower because he's been trying to get a little bit of damage in and delay the third base of Tasia, which didn't turn out to work, but still. All right, Hellion's been here now. Blue flame Hellion's at that. Marauder come here trying to save the day. But it looks like, uh, you know, the, the Hellions didn't do as much damage no. as they could have. He he's really, he really should have put him six. on one side. You know, yeah, not in the middle. It's like, well, do you want to utilize this uh, this you know, that, that spray line damage or not? Very true. Uh, well, right now, Polt can't be feeling terrible about his position. He is up in supply. He's still doing a great job. Uh, adding command center still. Making a lot more Raxes. Keeping his tank down up, too. Now, note, uh, he's going to siege up right over here, right before... Uh, uh, Tage would like to get out of here. More siege tanks, Marauders, Marines, and Medivacs coming up here. And there you go, putting down a sensor tower. I love it. Really nice. Yeah, sensor tower plus the Zalmaga tower, very good. But he doesn't have any more units here. And Tasia is pushing out. He stims and runs up with the Spires. But was Where it too is... late? No, it wasn't. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Way out of position is Tasia's yeah. Raven. Yeah, he did not cover the uh, Marauders at the upper left side. Dude, seriously? And it looks like Tasia may be out of the season, Tasteless. This is going to be too much damage because of Tasia was in, with incredibly disappointing play here. You know what? He was doing very well for them there. And GG, Bolt just stemming, running in from two sides and crushing that mech army. I tell you, you have to be very careful moving out at all. That's why you have that Raven. Point defense drone way too slow to help anything out. Had he gotten one to two point defense drones up, if he would have been fine. If he had the two point defense drones, uh, I feel like he still had so few units that Colt would have broken him still, to be honest. Maybe not gotten up there and ended the game, but broken him. So, you know, I Mech, when you guys, when you lose those siege tanks, you're done in Mech. Yeah. You're spending the entire game to get, I don't know, like, let's just say 15 siege tanks. Yeah. Okay? 15 siege tanks in siege mode, if they're not hit before they're in siege mode, kills everything. It's just too much splash damage at once. It, ha it has the option to, well, not even an option. It just hits before anything else hits it due to the range. Um, but if you lose those siege tanks at any point in time, like all of them, like we saw back there, I mean, you've been knocked so back over. into the Stone Age. Yeah. There's yeah. not really, like, There's no comeback can... scenario, really, unless right, the, right. Uh, your opponent's like, doesn't get it at all. Right. But uh, anyways... Uh, Big surprise, Tasia round of four last time. First out We now. thought he might win last season. He <laughs> played so well. He's been winning tournaments around the world, and he's out. Last place, first guy out of Code S. Wow. The world is a fascinating place. And we get to actually see Polt against uh, Finale, which I actually feel like oh, Polt yeah. can take this. That's true. And we're going to go look into that match after the short break, so stay tuned. <laughs>